Wave Time here, bringing to you another episode of Inferno Mine. So, let me first kill that little creeper over there. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. So, I was looking around all of the areas, trying to get a lot of experience. I have quite a bit of it in this nice little chest over here that I'm keeping pretty much for safekeeping. So, here we go. Now, what I noticed, and is the reason why I started recording, was there's a little sand blotch over there. Pretty much near where I was trying to sample if there was anything. Now, obviously, there's bedrock, but maybe there's something over there. Now, I hope it's like a good looting chest because I've been trying to get, as you saw, as much experience as humanly possible. The reason for that is so that I can do some serious enchanting work. Hmm. And it led me around to Amanita Caverns. One of the places I also did was Haynes Disgrace. And it had a lot of experience bottles in the area that wasn't shrouded by a million uh, spiders. So let's go. Here's some sand. Um, if there's like a, like a level 30 enchantment worth of stuff in here, I will be happy. So get rid of this stuff. And if we go... Huh. That's our sandstone there. So... This looks like an odd transition area, not some run-of-the-mill, I'm-gonna-give-you-experience area. So this might be some sort of cavern? No, this can't be another intersection. That'd just be very odd, seeing as we already went through as many intersections. Well, we haven't even found technically intersection 4, so let's see. Silverfish? What the heck? Oh, my dear God. Okay, getting up, getting up, getting up. Okay, what's causing that? Are they all silverfish blocks? Dear God. Okay, so we have some sort of odd Vexian trap that he probably wanted us to get into. Let's use some sandstone so that we have a nice... Area so bedrock, silverfish. Are there silverfish here? Yeah, that's silverfish. Is all of this silverfish? No, just that last part, which is silverfish. Okay, so we have some silverfish that we can get to. Just kill them off. And there's an odd little area there. Some also some. Hmm, let's not do that. I want to read those signs. Probably something witty, I'm sure. So get this out of the way. I don't care if the remainder is silverfish because I am not trapped anymore. I still can't read it. Lorian, Ipsum, Herpes, Derpus, Maximus, Fuarpus, Estua, Forido, Du, Rimo, Pulsum, She? Okay, that stuff is gibberish, so I have no clue what it's trying to say. It's probably just not saying anything, so if I were to go onto those chests, I could fall down onto the chests and see around the area. There's a bit of an area. It's, okay, there's a chest, it seems like, every corner. One over here as well. So maybe we can find our way, assuming that this isn't silverfish as well. Man, where is that thing? Okay, it seems like a... Okay, I understand. It seems like it's some sort of trap that has a silverfish that like, has infinite life but is constantly getting hurt. Okay, here goes nothing. Ah. This is some form of cavern, and we got three ender pearls. Is that the same for each of the chests? I don't know. I can't make it. Oh my god. Ah, uh, damn it. Ah, uh, okay, okay, let's see. We are on fire, and this is not good. Okay, one moment. Uh, let's see. I know it's probably not as entertaining, but oh well. Okay, so we had some regeneration as well. So let's get some regeneration, counteract the fire at least. And there's two skeletons, which we're going to need to deal with in quick time. So that... Obviously, was not the best planning on my part. 
Uh, okay, so we dropped down and we managed to ender pearl ourselves. The first one didn't go well, seeing as we managed to fall in some lava, though we did get close enough to shore to see that we weren't in the deep end yet, so to speak. So we also are going to need to work out where the heck we are, because we're obviously not in any sort of easy area. So lots of, seems like natural spawn enemies. So maybe if we work our way out over there, or since this is all bedrock fog, let's go up here. Maybe we can find a good enderpearl sticking point. Okay, that's our web of misery. We got a good enderpearl area over there, and I missed! I always seem to miss those. Ah. <sighs> So maybe we should go safe instead of sorry, or else we're going to be sorry and end up in the lava again. Thank goodness the regeneration lasts for so freaking long, or else I would be dead by now. Okay, so, got some light up here. Hope it's not the light at the end of the tunnel, because, oh god, it might as well be. It might as well be. Because we are dead, though I don't think it's going to be heaven that we're ending up in. Die! There we go. Thank you. Get you out of the way. Get you out of the way. And this seems like an odd, interesting little cavern. Not really the safest point we go to. It seems like we needed to get those ender pearls that were in the chest. It was just my dumb luck somehow dropping from one of the chests. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hi. So glad you could make it here for here. Okay. I hate you. Uh, there's a path over there. It doesn't seem like there's a path over here. So let's get rid of the natural spawn stuff. Our infinite seems like it's almost out of juice. So we're going to have to be wary because if it breaks, we're going to be screwed over in over our head. Okay, let's get you. Let's get you. There we go. And now that we have the skeleton dead, let's see what this cavern is. Huh. Doesn't look like there's anything special otherwise over there. It just seems like an expansive area. So let's go up here and see uh, that there is a mellow cavern over here. Okay, so this is this up to where we were previously? I sure hope so because if it spits us somewhere else, I don't know if we'll be able to find our areas. Okay, so left, right. Left again, bedrock. And that bedrock makes a lot of sense. Yes, sure. Maybe, is there some over here as well? Yes, there is. Okay, so, hey, I wanted that. I still have pavements. Okay, so we have a nice little cavern and another path that we can go to. So this might be some either, hmm, it's either wool or it's one of those heads, because I don't know if Vex really expects us to find this area. It seems so difficult to find. Okay, so area, the Lost Caverns. Got some fancy brickwork, that's for sure. And let's work our way down here. Another brick, probably to show us the way to different areas. Or at least keep us sane about where we are. Now, it might be trailing us to the next area. Okay, so let's make sure we can transition out of this area. I'm sure there's going to be some other area we can get through here. But at least it's not that uh, large area. Oh, that's lava. That is a creeper. That is lava. That is a creeper. That is a bat. Not quite the same as all the above. Okay, so this seems like the way we need to go. We'll still have to be extra cautious to see if anything... Nope, nope. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what we have here. That is quite extraordinary. That is quite extraordinary, I must say. Oh. Hello. You seem to have been lost. Can you not harm me, please? Okay, so we got some witches spawning. And that area that I saw was obviously I'm not supposed to see it yet. Because it was... Okay, there's a witch over there. 
and spawned over there. So we're going to want to find ourselves over here instead and get ourselves out of there as quickly as possible. So there's a witch spawner somewhere over there. There's some sort of huge cavern that we saw due to an unfortunate glitch. I'll try to forget I saw that, though it's going to be difficult seeing as it was a badass cavern if you guys saw that. Okay. Apparently I am horrible at shooting today. <sighs> okay, vaccine night vision might come in handy, though we won't be able to see anything. Okay, if we can manage to kamikaze a witch before it gets to us, it might be good. Bam! Bam, bam, bang, thank you, ma'am. Okay, now I have slowness. That's good. That is really good. Let's get over here, please. Thank you. Come again. I don't know if I'm ready for this cavern, really. I don't have the gear that I want here. I got slowness. I don't have much. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is save this place for a rainy day. Since, frankly, I am not quite prepared for this as I should be. So I'm just going to go up, lick my wounds a bit, and mosey my way very slowly, as you can see, back to the Victory Monument and on to Greater Salvation. Can we go, please? Okay, here we are back in our lovely handmade workshop. And ah, no, I'm kidding. I kind of just jacked this off of some dead guy. He's in a corner over there. I think I might have flushed him in the chest and into the garbage collection. Anyway, so now that that morbid, uh, morbid apparel is done, I did some enchanting. You probably saw earlier that I had some diamond boots. Projectile protection 4, feather falling 4, unbreaking 3. I added the unbreaking 3 myself after the fact. So these are going to be our main boots. And since they have projectile protection, we'll no longer need the golden chest plate here. So we're going to want a better chest plate. Unfortunately, we only have this fire protection one, and it's not even the best. However, it's probably better to have a bit of fire protection than the other bit. So here we are. We're going to need to go out. And I was thinking a bit, and it's probably best to get that morbid area out of the way. And you can see some failed attempts to protect myself. And I got a protection too. Fire protection 3, protection 4, so that's 6 protection, and projectile protection. So we got enough protection, I think, to attack that area again. Maybe we'll look for some more diamond chest plates, or maybe we'll actually get some diamonds to make some chest plates. So I think I'm going to go back to the Lost Caverns, because frankly, leaving an area that I know exists uncleared is just not okay with me and we'll pick up as much stuff as we possibly can now thankfully we have full diamond armor so with enchantment so full diamond enchanted armor so this should be a bit better okay intersection three i believe it is once i go there it's going to be difficult to come back but let's see wait it was intersection two huh <sighs> good thing i didn't press that okay so Let's go onwards to the entrance of the Lost Caverns. Okay, here we are back in the Lost Caverns. Let's quickly make short work of all the small fry before we get to the witches. The witches are not going to be a fun part of this whole experience, so we're going to want to be as quick as possible with them. There's a bit of a light there, though that's not going to be as much of a problem. The witches start over there so as soon as we s get up there we'll want to low oh, hello how are you I did not want to see you there but I suppose now that you're there you might as well die so uh, let's light up the area so we can try to get the witches to not spawn I don't know how much of a likelihood that's gonna be of them not spawning because they are frankly freaks of nature and they should be horrible ha 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 Hi, yeah, no, and there's a witch, and slow, great, not slow poke, but he's anything but, okay, so it spawned over here, you can get over there, and there was a bit of a glowstone area, I'm gonna have to check that out in a second, eight seconds of slowness, I can deal with that, 
Okay, nothing really there. Just, oh, hello. <sighs> so for those of you who don't know, protection actually protects against all forms of damage. So poison is also a form of damage, so it protects us against it. Okay. Oh, no, that's not good. I've... God, that's... Okay, one moment. This is serious. Okay, this is better. Oh, one moment. <sighs> God, take care of the witches that tend to spawn. I don't know where the spawner is, though. It's saying pretty much that we should be as fast as possible through this area, or else we're going to have a bit of a problem. Can you stop drinking the health? Drinking the health of healthness? It's really not healthing. <sighs> so, I had an issue in my keyboard in that... Well, it's a metal keyboard, unfortunately. It's an Apple. Maybe that's the reason that it is failing me so horribly right now. But anyways, uh, I felt some sort of tingling in the keyboard. And it feels like there's some sort of short in the keyboard. So, it's not exactly the most healthy thing that's there. Okay. Die. I said die. Thank you. And it is a bit bad. I'm probably going to have to... Uh, substitute a new keyboard soon. Okay, we're away from the witches. That is a little too many creepers for that to be natural. I'm calling Bologna there. And there. And there. Making sure no more witches. Good. We're out of the witch zone. So actually, now that I think of it, Bonsai. Ha! Ha! And take that. And that. And that. Take that as well. Take that, creepers! Get away from me. Okay, now that that area is secure, we can get out of here. More ambient lighting is nice and everything, but I kind of want to have some normal lighting. Okay, I see some iron over there. There's some gas, unfortunately. But gas aren't too much of an issue. Fire protection. On a witch. He has a sense of humor, doesn't he? Okay, so let's go over here. Um, seems our bow's out, almost out of energy, so that's not good. We're going to need to find a chest for another substitute of a bow. Uh, maybe we can go, assuming that this thing isn't trapped. I'm going to wait for stuff to spawn. If this thing isn't trapped, we can go for it right now. In fact, let's just go for it now. There's a lot of gas, though, so we're going to have to worry about those. Though it's not likely to be right here. How many iron ore do we have? We got eight. Not enough for the victory monument, but though it is enough for now. Okay, that's gone, and it seems like we're going to have to work our way down somewhere. Oops. That is not where I wanted to be. Okay, so down there seems like the next area. Assuming that we can get rid of these things. Okay, we're going to have to conserve our bow, unfortunately. Infinite seems like it's going to break rather soon. Okay, next area might be down there. That's where I'm hazarding a guess, though. Or it might be just... This might just be an area for coal. Now that I think of it, it's a possibility. Ability. I don't see why it would be like that. Okay, you die. Oh, it's continually drinking health potions, maybe? Perhaps. Didn't help too much. Okay. Uh, let's go down there. Hiya! And I didn't miss this time. Okay, that's good. Any other witches? Uh, fire bats, though, I think it's not the nether variety. Okay, there's some signs here. And some slabs there. I'm not too happy about the slabs portion. Okay, the walls and ceilings ahead are infested with spiders. Tunnel rats, beware. You might just want to stay in the middle ground and possibly other things. Okay, um... That is helpful. So stay away from the walls... Hmm, gas cages. Hmm. This seems like a fun issue. So we have three ghasts. 
and the walls are infested, apparently. Okay, can we hit it from here? Not likely. Bit higher. Bit lower. Bit to the left. Or we're just gonna fire randomly. I could have swore that hit. There we go. Okay, one down. Still have some zombies that we need to take care of, though why we're using infinite for that, I have no clue. So the walls and the sides are infested with spiders. So we cannot tunnel. Well, not as effectively. We can tunnel, though it's not going to net us anything. Hmm. Talk about uh, up your creek. Okay, so... Apparently there's also lava in the walls, which we're not going to want, and maybe we should look out for creepers because they are a bit of a pain in the butt. Oh my god, are those blaze spawners? Okay, that's what he means by infested. There's so many spawners, you'd be crazy to try. Well, I am crazy, though I am not trying. Okay, up. Dang it, I had to miss the perfect tra trajectory. Ah. You know, what would happen if I didn't have an infinite number of arrows? That would be a bit of a problem with this. Okay. Almost got it. Okay, got it. But he's not dead. And he's free. Oh, maybe a gas hit me before. Possible. Just possible, but still unlikely. Okay, I cannot get to that guy. A bit of a problem, but oh well. Okay, so we got those out of the way. Just going to need to plug up this area because Vex is a meanie pants. And there is a skeleton. Skeleton! Skelly friend! I want to be friendly. Don't want to be friendly, okay? I see how it is. Bye-bye. Okay, so we have to make our way over to the center, and I see someone with a name. So that is probably one of the custom mobs that we have to kill for their head. So that is correct, okay. And there's a few of them. It's going to be even more annoying. Okay, first, get you out of the way. Assuming we can get you. There, we must have hit it. There we go. And now we have a skeleton attacking us again. Which is not exactly the most fun thing to happen. Okay, there's our replacement bow. Maybe not the best bow in the world, but at least it'll be a replacement if we were to ever need it. Can you die? No, seriously, can you die? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Lots of netherrack does not make me feel happy. Okay, let's check. Camu the Hidden with a bunch of feathers also. Can they get to us? They must be able to. And now we run and hope only one of them follow us. Which is not likely to be the ch case. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, that's a knockback feather. Knockback feather! Okay, one of them in. There we go. Okay, now we only have to deal with one of them and a zombie, which is not as exciting as it sounds. Ha! Ah. Take that, take that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Okay, come on, you want some. You know you want some. Oh, that was close. That was definitely close. Too close for comfort, and we're almost in lava, so that's not good. Okay. Explodify! Nope. Just me? Okay. Okay, you're dead. And we got a head at least close. P 
pants, projectile protection, no point. And probably no point to these, nope. Nope. We got ahead. I'll just watch that, read that in a second, and there doesn't seem like there's any other point in being here. Okay. Let's first check around. See, there's a bedrock thing over there. No fleecy box, though there is... No, is that just the platform? Yeah, that's the platform. We seem to be done with this area. Though I'm willing to hazard a bet that it is not done with us. So let's go and hide out. See, okay, so... It was indeed the next part, or rather, there is no next part to this area. Let's see. Nope. Just a bunch. Okay, I'm out of here. I am out of here. When you hear blazes, you know things are going to get freaky. I do not need blaze rods. Even the thought of blaze rods right at this moment is a bit of a... T oh, hello. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Okay, so we got a head of Camu. He'll just write an EXE to revive himself, don't worry. Okay, I uh, don't know how he's going to write fr that from the grave, but oh well. Hmm. There's some gravel out there, which means there's possibly something over there. I don't know. Hmm. can always ender pearl myself out to safety. So we got one head of a deceased uh, Mojangster, so that'll be helpful, I suppose. Okay, chest, diamond sword, smite 5, and bane of arthropods 5. That is good. So, what can we throw in here? Diamond sword, smite, and I didn't even check this feather. Efficiency. Huh. Uh, that might be helpful. So, let's get rid of the Vexian uh, night potion thing. Not worry about the rest of it. And then just get out far enough so that we can get out of here. And, oh, wait. Witches, let's get out of here before we die. Ah, crud. Take that and that and that and that and that and that. And that, buddy. Blur. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, so here we are. We have our head of Cam Yu. The hidden, and the reason it's hidden is, well, obvious, it was in a very secret area. So, here we go, that is not where we wanted it. Thank you, and let's put it here. Okay, so that's one head of these. So we have Code Warrior the Instigator, and then Dinnerbone the Destroyer. That's not going to be fun, Especially the instigator. Instigator is saying that pretty much he's bringing the fight to us. Now, what I'm thinking is we got enough gear on us. I changed for protection 3 instead. So we'll have more general protection. And we'll just start at that area where we left off in the very scary area. Hopefully we find a better loot chest. If there are even loot chests past this point. Which I'd assume so. Maybe at this point he's assuming that we have full diamond armor and stuff like that. Though I am not too sure on that. So let's go out. We're not exactly able to bring anything such as rail carts. Seeing as the rail cart area is kind of full of cattle. Unless... Hmm. Okay, let's see what happens when we know this. Because it's not trapped... Other than the movers, which are not able to move over. Yeah, that wasn't funny the first time you heard it, I suppose. Nope. Go back that way. From whence you came. Actually, you probably came this way. So, this is probably giving us the unlimited food. Or not able to protect ourselves from the stacked trace that's over here. Though he does seem to have... An enchanted book with them so let's just test what these drops are come on okay apparently I'm supposed to bring the fight to him though I suppose that is okay so there's that and there's that let's just wait for you to actually come over here please 
Thank you. Okay. No actual enchanting books, so let's get out into the sunlight, and we see there's a lot of lava everywhere. Iron ore, pretty much everywhere as well. And these seem like mostly natural spawns. Which is very odd. Is this open sky? I think it's open sky. Now, where did that guy come from? Okay, you're still there. And these seem like huge ruins that we're going to have to comb. So, more ruins for us to look at. Let's just check this ruined area. Uh, okay. Nothing really to report. Some dark areas. So, it's not actually the sky that we're seeing. Hmm. There might be ore up there. There's a small chance that there will be ore up there, though I'm not really harking too much on that. So let's just go a bit farther, and then we'll probably wrap up a bit. So just a bit of a scenic overlook. We see a nice little castle over to our right. Though this might be more safe. Okay. Ember Castle. So this is Ember Castle. That's not too bad, actually. So this is our next area that we're going to need to fight. And honestly, I can't wait for next time. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE e. Power. Not EE e. Power. Sorry, that thing just scared me. Infernal Minds! If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. I knew it. Invisible Creepers. Wave time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.